It is really good to be in person with all of you. It has been quite a bit since we've done one of these live. Um, it is, it's, it's really fun to be in person. So we have a lot of exciting stuff that we're going to talk about today. We have, uh, we have Quest 3 and, um, and some other new hardware that I'm excited to show you. Uh, and we have a whole lot of new AI experiences. So we've been in the lab for a while and I'm really looking forward to, to showing you what we've been building. Uh, but first, I, want, I just want to take a moment to, to talk about why we're here. Uh, at Meta, we are focused on building the future of human connection. And what that means is that we build products to help people feel closer. Like we're right there, present with each other, with our friends and family and colleagues and the people we care about, no matter where in the world that we actually are. And we do this because we believe that that makes us, that that strengthens our relationships. It helps us have more fun together. It improves how we learn. It gives us more opportunities that help span distance. Now, the, the physical world around us um, is amazing, right? I think that one of life's great joys is getting to go out and be active and explore. And at the same time, uh, over the last you know, few decades, our industry has been you know, building up this increasingly vibrant digital world alongside it with all the apps and digital content that we've been creating. And you know, I always find it funny when people say that, that, you know, that the, the digital world and all the apps and stuff isn't the real world, because I think increasingly you know, in our modern time, the real world is really this combination of the, the physical world that we inhabit and, and this digital world that we're building. But, you know, even though we, we constantly are touching the digital world, it's mostly through screens, and it, it's almost like it inhabits a completely different plane from our, our physical lives. And I think that one of the most interesting questions for our industry over the coming decades is going to be, how do we unify these experiences of the physical that we have with this vibrant digital world to create something that is more coherent and just better than anything that we have today? Now, in, in the future, I think not too far from now, you're going to walk into a room and there are going to be you know, as many holograms of digital things for you to interact with as there are physical objects. I mean, think about all the, the things that are physically there that don't actually need to be physical things. Right? All the paper, the, you know, the media, the games, the art, your workstation, any screen, and all be interactive holograms. You know, think about going and, and hanging out with your friends. Um, you know, pretty soon, I, I think you're, we're going to be at a point where you're going to be there physically with some of your friends, and others will be there digitally as the avatars, as holograms, and they'll feel just as present as everyone else. Or, you know, you'll walk into a meeting and you'll sit down at a table and, you know, you'll be there with your, you know, there will be people who are there physically and people who are there digitally as holograms, but also sitting around the table with you are going to be a bunch of AIs who are embodied as holograms who are helping you get different stuff done too. So, I mean, this is just a quick glimpse of the future and how these ideas of the physical and digital come together into this idea that we call the metaverse. And a lot of the foundational technologies to enable this are the things that we are going to talk about today. Mixed reality allows you to bring digital objects into the physical world. Advances in AI allow us to create different AIs and personas that can help us accomplish different things. And smart glasses are going to eventually allow us to bring all of this together into a stylish form factor that we can wear all day long. 